My area of expertise is research in midwifery and um, I have published around the sorts of things like um, interventions in labour and how, um, how this affects the birth process for women, how it affects the birth outcome and what I hope to do in the future is actually look at how that's affecting our children in the long term. And of course that is a very difficult thing to research because we, um, you know, there are so many confounders. But there is more and more evidence that what we are doing in birth, getting away from following the natural rhythm of women giving birth, is actually um, not doing us any good at all and not doing our, our society and population uh, any good. Um, there was a time when the interventions that were introduced into birth were life-saving and we could say that um, they were categorically life-saving. But now I think we're doing much more harm than good with the sort of practices that you see every day in birth. The cascade of interventions in birth is really the area I have published most in. And this is where we have women who come into hospital, um, they may not be in established labour, or they may be, but they usually, the clock starts ticking as soon as they arrive, then a certain amount of time passes and someone says, oh, this woman needs augmenting, so we, we offer drugs. Then, of course, the drugs actually make her contractions very painful, so she needs something to manage the pain with. And so we build up and we build in more and more and more interventions and then the woman may end up with an episiotomy, with a forceps or vacuum birth or a caesarean section. And then that's not the end of the story.